Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? I stick to YouTube, it's like TV. Ah. They're on penny boards. They're no Evolve bamboo GTRs, but they are penny boards. This is what I guess most skateboarders start off with. Guys, would you like, you like these skateboards or those Evolve bamboo GTRs I showed you? Bamboo. Why? Yeah. All right, let's go to the store. store. No. I mean, to the, to the park. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Look, we're all wearing red and black. I find that funny. I mean, was it planned that way or did we? Hey. Look, see, she has her skateboard. Oh, cool. Do you not escape? There you go. Okay. Want me to show you how? Yeah. Be careful. Here, hold this. Get me. Okay, I'll get you on. All right. Ready? Yep. I feel like I'm going to break this. You have to start off like this, and then you have to go like this. <laughs> oh, it's too small. Forget it. I guarantee if they had those Evolve Bamboo GTRs, they'll be smooth sailing. What do you think? I don't know. It's important for these kids to get exercised. I think uh, I feel a little guilty I haven't been taking them out to exercise, but the reality is it's been COVID, plus it's been cold. But this year is different. We're gonna take them to actually go exercise. Last time we were in this park, it was all snow, remember? These kids about to get their first cuts and scars. <laughs> I remember those days. Go slow now, okay? Not too fast. If you go over any twigs like this, you'll fall. That's how you get used to it, yeah. I'm guessing for a skateboard to be really so expensive, I think it's 1700 for the Evolve Bamboo GTR. And that probably has to be like the smoothest selling skateboard known to man either that or it's an electric skateboard that just glides it's a cruiser i mean far from a penny board like what these guys are doing but now i'm even thinking should i go get an evolved bamboo gtr just to get it what a waste of money because i'm not a skateboarder i'll crack a bone easily no problem but still Hold on, my whole foot is like almost the size of this whole thing. Literally, literally my whole foot. It's, it's hard to fit two feet on this when one foot is more than, it's like 80% of the whole penny board. Go ahead, Aiden. Meanwhile, what I really wanna do is go play some basketball, but I'm scared to break my Achilles in half. I just visited my friend who tore his Achilles. But the point is, at least I'm hanging out with the kids. I enjoy being a father. I enjoy, you know, since being a dad, I spent a lot of time at home with these boys on purpose. I don't have a regular nine to five. I've never, my life is not fashion that way, but I'm glad I just able to spend time with my children and my family. That to me means more than anything. I'm just blessed that I could have three beautiful children, a wife, and just a family that I could always come home to. A lot of my friends probably want the same, and everyone's I guess, scared to take the jump or haven't found the right significant other to do it. So I consider myself blessed. A lot of my single friends have different girls all over the place. I don't have that. I have one woman, 
three kids. And a lot of them look at me like I'm the one that's doing really well. And I guess in that regard, I am. I'm blessed. You should be blessed too. They found a new friend. They don't need daddy anymore. Listen to all my friends who are gonna have newborns or want children. When they get a certain age, and as I've been told, they don't care about you anymore. Case in point, you see them in the background. They don't care about me. I'm chopped liver. <laughs> in other words, it's no use for me. <laughs> I still have my group of friends though. What? What happened? What? I'm gonna do my book before. Come on. You have your book you have something to do tomorrow? No. So why'd you have me take you out if you had to do no, your book? Because I wanted to have fresh hair. Why is he always hustling me? You know you had that book report to do? He tells me he finished all his homework. That's the only reason why I took him out. Now he tells me he has a book report. If he wasn't on the principal's honor roll, you know this would be a no bueno, but not for nothing, the boy has proven that he's more than capable of doing his work on time and to perfection. He's on the principal's honor roll. I really can't even get mad at him. But you still have to hold some sort of, some sort of grip on, you know, because you don't want them to get too abstract with the timing and how they feel they could do things. Come on. What's wrong? What's wrong? Time to go, come on. Let's go. Do you have a good time? You guys don't do this in school? Do you guys like it when I take you out? Yeah. Do I take you out enough? Yeah. <laughs> Ada says yes, CK says no. No, I don't take you out enough. Would you like it if I did? Yeah. I got a lot of a lot of work to do as a daddy. I gotta get better. At least uh, I ask the kids instead of guessing. Come on, let's go. Ow. The key is to ask your kids about your performance as a parent. The key is to ask your kids your evaluation as a parent. At least I do. That seems to work and it keeps communication lines open. I don't understand some parents who don't do that. It's kind of weird. It's just part of me making sure that I give everybody what they want. I think all parents should do that. Don't be afraid to ask your kids how your performance as a father or as a mother is. That's the key. They'll tell you when something's wrong. Stop guessing. Don't assume. You know about people, you know what they say about people who assume. I stick to YouTube. It's like TV.